try this one. Hey, how's life in NC? Getting any sleep? Because I'm not. Not when there's money to be made. So listen, one of my people, named Julian, was supposed to deliver me some precious data. Never made it. Getting total radio silence. Check on her, will you? And uh, don't forget the data. Specs attached. Yeah, all right. I'm already in front of her house. I like everyone to know I'm patient, understanding. I realize there's a time for work and a time for family. Without a good work-life balance, we'd all blast our brains out. I get it, I do. But disappearing for two weeks because of family issues? That's how Juliet thinks of me? How much she respects me? I love her because she's ripped so much Nova data out of Zeditech for me, but man, she's starting to hurt my feelings, you know? Go to her place and see what her deal is. But remember, number one priority is that the data she still owes me. Uh, Juliet's Nova and all, but if she's got a problem with that, well, like I said, data's prio number one. Yeah, I'll leave her alive. I mean, maybe she's in trouble and we can help her. Juliet! I don't see any bloodstains downstairs. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Jules, please forgive me for how I'm doing this. I'm nowhere near as tough as you and can't pretend to be anymore. I hate to say that there's no helping Rose anymore, so at least help yourself before it's too late. If you change your mind, I'll be waiting for you at Sunset Motel. Think on it again. Please, always yours, Sigh. Okay. Maybe we should go to that sunset hotel. Oh shit. Oh shit. I wasn't expecting anybody to be down here. I think she's gone cyber psycho. Oh yeah, there's Juliet Horgan. Sleep well, Rose. Oh, it hurts. Spikes in my mom on my skull. Get this, Juliet. I didn't expect her to stay awake for that. Rose and Bernard Ackerman. Hey, you there? I saw the lights on in your house. I know you're not sleeping. Who is this? Rose, I live facing you. You have to help me now. They want to kill me. Hold on. What's going on? Who wants to kill you? Julie and her husband, they work for the corp. They're trying to poison me with poison gas capsules in my bedroom. Please, you have to help me. Have you been drinking? Taking anything? You don't get it. They're the ones doing this to me. They took my hollow so I couldn't call anyone. Cool your tits, lady, okay? People are trying to sleep here. The police is also in on it. I'm begging you, please. You have been blocked by Bernard Ackerman. Yeah, I probably should have called the cops. Jeez. Illness diary. Day 67, high temp, migraines, typically speaking. 68, high temp, migraines, delirious again. 69, some improvement. Rosie isn't complaining of pain. She's eating and take, talking normally again. Maybe the new pills are finally working? 71, an attack. Acts like nothing happened. Size arms is broken in two places. Gave her a triple dose, calmed after an hour. 72, as always, she doesn't remember a thing. Sigh, that saint of a man lied and said it was a hit and run. She's back to normal, no pain. She's even made us breakfast for us. Christ. 80. Even though these pills are draining our bank account dry, they're at least doing the job. I just need to maintain a higher dose. Rosie's back to herself, and only once did I think I heard her talking in an empty room. As long as she's not hurting anyone. 91. Another attack. Had to give her four times the normal dose. Why do I bother? I can't do this anymore. Oh, jeez. I... hope... Capitan sends someone over for this. Your order has been approved. Please keep this confirmation in your records. Lidocaine, 400 times 10 milligrams. Uh, beta haloperidol, 200 times 0 0.5 milligrams.
So, obviously, Rosie was probably either going through cyber psychosis or just any of the other myriad things that can happen to a person's brain and make them lose control. Test results. Rose Horrigan. PLT and TSH slightly exceeded. No medical consultation is needed. However, regarding the patient's worsening state of mind, psychological consultation is needed. What really happened? I mean, maybe they didn't have a cyberpsychosis and it was, uh... They did, like, kind of drug her or experiment with her. Can't have bad luck all the time. Hey, from Rose Horgan to Juliet Horgan. Oh wait, they're related. It really was family issues. Julie, OMG, it's been ages. How's life? Guess I'm writing with something on my mind. Remember when we were kids and played on that old dam? We shout our names, some other stupid stuff, then listen for the echoes? How our voices carry through the valley. Sometimes I still feel like I can hear them. Different, strange words, like returning from a long trip out of town. Funny, right? I don't know, Julie. Truth is, everything's going off the rails. I feel worse and worse. Losing my job certainly didn't help. And what the hell good was that new cyberware for, huh? Ugh. I hope I'm not scaring you or asking too much, but was just thinking how nice it'd be to hear your voice. Not just some echo of it. Maybe that's what I need to get right again? Rosie, of course I remember the damn. Even the time we tried to kick that gonk Benny Dilliard and his drone off it. And yeah, I did hear about your job. I'm really sorry. That sucks so hard. But listen, I've been talking to Sai and we agree you should stay with us for a while. At least until you feel better. Come on, just like old times. I'm starting to like this less and less. Best stay on our toes. It's already happened, Johnny. I already knocked her out. From Victor Vector. Miss Horgan, I'm happy you turned to me instead of those clean-cut scam artists, but I'm sorry I don't have good news for you. The symptoms you describe indicate a serious disorder that will continue to progress regardless of next steps taken. In cases like this, I'm afraid no level of help you give your sister will do much good. The real only cure is one of the two max tech ways, if you understand my meaning. It's good you reached out to me. But it's the best if you contact them next. The quicker they get on this, the safer it will be for everyone, including you. I know nothing to talk about with Johnny Harry. What's going on with Rose? Clara Hargan. Julie, since yesterday, Rose has called me 40 times, but all I ever hear on the line is erratic breathing. And I never get a response when I call her back. Do you know what's going on? I'm really worried. Love, Mom. Hey, Mom, everything's alright. You know Rosie, winky face. When you have 100 implants like she does, chances are at least one's got a chip loose somewhere. Don't worry about it. We've got everything under control. Love you, Juliet. All okay? Urgent. Julie, is all okay? Been a while. We talked last, and I got a few jobs I can't trust anyone else with. Plus, there's still the matter of Mr. KT's data. Right back quick. Time ain't on our side with this one. Ugh. <sighs> It. Oh, damn. Oh, no, we've really fucked the pooch. All right, we failed. I don't see FF or 55. Mm. We take over again. Is there anything else upstairs? What a mess. Reeks too. Usual hallmarks of a merc's room stop there. <laughs> Almost completely used up. Not something you'd keep in your medicine cabinet. Oh shit! 
Someone took a nasty hit on this. Signs of a struggle? To put it mildly. Yeah, I mean, at least good for Sai. I think he got out of this mess. Hey! Uh, no, that can't be... For that, don't forget to visit us from Clean Cut to Rose Horgan. This is a reminder to your upcoming appointment at Clean Cut. Oh, shit. Has this been had? They've been dealing with this for over a year. Rose Horgan's journal. Respect my privacy. And it soars into me like to the parade. My friends, let's fly. Kiss my forehead. Lift me up. Touch the sky. After all, we can miss it, can we, little sister? Rosie is so thankful. My beloved baby sister, fucking whore, won't understand it. No, you only listen to Julie and Echo, 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 Echo. It says you have to see the parade in Japantown. Without us, the party burns. To the parade, my friend, let's fly. Kiss my forehead, lift me up, touch the sky. Is this part of a song? I will show you how Rosie loves you, 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 you. There, do you hear the echo? Echo? Echo! A long time ago, we dropped a pebble from the dam and counted the fall. Two, three echoes, then four, and waited for the avalanche. Five, six, to cover Night City. And you won't have to go to school, seven, echo, echo. But nothing happened. Nothing but horrible silence. Doesn't matter. Have better idea. We go to the parade because the dam is already cracking. The dam is already cracking. Yeah, that's a whole lot of. That's a whole lot of random babbling. Better look around. Impressive pharmacy. Didn't even know this stuff was still on the black market. All these pills are downers. They're what you get if you can afford better. Hell of a lot for one person here. Painkillers, drowsiness, dizziness, potent black market sedatives. And they have to use it to knock her out. And I guess they're gonna have come through the front window here. I don't think the door was locked, though. Oh, we got the info we need. And we knocked out Rose. Hopefully El Capitan will send someone over. <laughs> Definitely cyber psychosis. Ah! Hope we can find a better cure for it. Maybe Regina will be the, the big help for it. What happened to Juliet V? Fuck. She never mentioned she had a sister. It's a crying shame. Thanks for grabbing that data, V. Gig's closed. I'll, uh, I'll be in touch. Alright, old Capitan. He didn't say shit about Rose. Well, I mean, that besides that she exists. Alright. Let's see what's going on with Nancy's mission. I also found out the the honk button. It's just also tied up with two other things. That's a weird ass horn. Why this obsession with Sweden fuck? Hoping once you find him he'll spill the meaning of life? Here, I'll save you the trouble. Life makes no sense. Now with you in my head, agreed. Now how about some quiet time? Can't think. You stopped thinking long before I got here. But sure, blame it all on the guy in your head. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Shh, shh. I need to look around. 
what's this about? Fuse box. Electrical circuits have been overloaded. High chance of system failure. Uh huh. Well, I guess I can go up there. But I don't know where to. Hello. <laughs> Pirate router. Think this is our Swedes doing? Only one way to find out. Let's try this. Hmm. Yeah, this works. Who that goes in search of me has already torn off the bourgeoisie, the bourgeois corporate blindness from their eyes and taken the first step towards the hanging garden of post capitalism. But this is just the beginning. Are you prepared to go even further? New coordinates uploaded to map. Oh shit. Sigs a match with what Nancy was tracking and goes further out to the Badlands like a server proxy. Don't tell me that's where we're heading. Why shouldn't next. we? Because this is all one big waste of time. The fuck do you care about a Borg fucking Swede? He rubs out sayings like a randy teenager and the whole world's guzzling it up. The three branches of government is a lobotomy on the people's autonomy. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I get what's going on here. You're jealous. Jealous about this shit, Swede? You out of your fucking mind? Mm -hmm. Cause he's the one all the anarchists and fist pumpers are quoting while you played in piss soaked dives for a bunch of stone zit faces. Don't talk shit about what you don't know. Happy fucking trails. <laughs> and sometimes you just gotta be antagonistic back to Johnny. Alright, I'm getting going to the Badlands, I guess. to go around her. I thought I could uh, drive through that plane. What's got you down, Poppy? What's got you down, Poppy? Combat? With whom? No, nah, nobody now, I guess. Okay. How are we going? Oh, that's real out there. We haven't been in this direction for a long while. I think since uh, the mission with Pan Am to shut down the power. What kind of crime they trying to do over here? They better not be trying to sabotage the, the water systems or something. Like we've got six targets. All right. And contagion. Oh. 
Oh, they're really not getting a chance. No. Ow! What the fuck? What was that? Steve Harrington and Vincent Stack. Let's meet on Bray Street. I'll have an old fuel pipe. Should work. Should show you how to hook it up. Good boy. Just brings the ads and try to attract any attention on the way. Yeah, yeah. On the move. What the fuck were they doing here? Target for elimination. Tactical services employee Steve Harrington has been accused of misappropriating significant quantities of Chew 2. Harrington first stole the resources, then sold them without the authorization to criminal organizations such as the band of nomad outlaws referred to as the Wraiths. According to the judgment of the Night City Court of Appeals, Steve Harrington has been found guilty of these allegations. Uh, corporate property misappropriation, illegal resale, which carries a sentence of death. Uh. Strap in for acceleration. This is one That's of a whoopsie, Stevie. Screwing over, Corp. And then continue to do it right under their noses. Hey. People in Night City are real daring. <laughs> oh, that's a lot worse. Okay. Signal leads here and disappears again. Hey, I remember. I have been over here more recently. I did a I cleared out a crime over here. Crime scene. And it's like right behind Dogtown. High voltage cables used to steal electricity. Can I go inside of this place? Or is the signal thing going to be somewhere else? Like, that looks like it could. <laughs> oh, no, it's over here. Damn. Another router. Sounds like this Swedenborg really values his privacy. Oh, thought you were done talking to me. I was. But it's not like I got anyone else to talk to. I'd go through your memories, but I don't want to puke all over your hippocampus. Well, hack away or whatever it is you were going to do. Please, something happened. <laughs> You've got it, Johnny. Hmm. Is this the way? This is. It's the path to glory. The road to the stars is always paved with darkness, and the road to collectivism leads through a sea of blood. Will you hide your tail between your legs and fasten your corporate leash once more? New coordinates. Signal keeps going to another terminal. Ha! I've got a feeling someone's messing with you, V. You'll follow this breadcrumb trail, and when you connect the dots, all you'll see is it. Dick. <laughs> no, I'm sure you'd love that, wouldn't you? Fucking A, I would. That cock would be the first thing Swedenborg did that actually made any sense. <laughs> Except he'd probably give it some pretentious name, like patriarchal phallus upholding toxic masculinity. What do you think? That's pretty good. I think it's time we moved on. <laughs> He's really taking us out here, huh? Oh, I thought we were just gonna be stuck in a sandstorm the whole way. What the fuck? Uh, uh, phantom cars for their phantom liberties.
Uh -oh. Well, yeah, we can do a couple of uh, clears there. Suicide, reboot optics, weapon glitch, contagion, reboot optics, contagion. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna take care of you. Ow, that's fair. It was unnecessary. <laughs> We got here. Bay Balsam and Burt Rollins. You know he had a gun. Plus, he doesn't want to help with our sh with shit. Just gotta fix our car. What do you mean he doesn't wanna? Put a gun to his head. Refresh his perspective. It's just he says he'll never help the rates. Not in his shop. Bay, the hell you're going soft. You can't even. Eh, hang on. Get a guy in line. Yeah. Says he won't help because one of our guys killed his son. Yeah. So. Tell him if he doesn't fix the car, you'll wipe the rest of his family. He's alone here, no fam left. Well, just find a way to twist his arm. Yeah, sure. Is he alive in there? Hey! I killed them! Goddamn wraiths. Jobs are real out there. Are oh, sorry, not jobs. These crimes. I wouldn't mind if there had been some other like actual gigs out there. I think they went a little too ham on like the small time crime scene because it just gets real repetitive. It's just like here's like five dudes standing around that are hostile. You're free to kill them. In any way you want. It's like, all right, cool, cool, cool. What, what do I get afterwards? You get text. Does that text lead to any other mission chains? Eh, maybe sometimes. But most of the time, no. Uh. <laughs> That was a waste of resources. That was a lot of fuel just gone. Yeah, I shouldn't touch that. I guess the last person up oh, there they are. Uh, 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 a <laughs> Slowly getting up there. Pathology of the Badlands. Oh, this is a long one. This is this is a lot of lore on getting out there in the Badlands. That's okay. I don't want to live out here anyways. Bullshit. Gong's a coward. Our numbers guy. No way he screwed us over. Well, he did. Who told you? Got a friend with the Tigers. Remember when we sold them that iron? That time Mikey almost bit the dust carrying them over? Yeah. Well, Mr. Math charged the Tigers an extra 5% but didn't tell us about it. That greedy little shit. I'll talk to him. But don't tell anyone else. We'll get the Eddies off him. No, I will. Ha <laughs> ha.
Getting some of the big bugs. Anything new showing up in here? I could buy a regular Caliburn. See what the color palette looks like on that. Let's do it. <laughs> Got some eddies to burn? Maybe, I don't know, you'd consider buying a Caliburn? You heard right, a fucking Caliburn. Beautiful machine, a downright work of art. If I could, I'd make love to this thing. Used to belong to SciTech CEO, but the gonk sold it because apparently, and I quote, only poor people drive two-year-old cars. Shit, I wish everyone could be poor by that definition. I just hope this Caliburn gets a loving owner, because she deserves it. If you're interested, let me know. All right. See what the new Caliburn is like. Ooh, okay, it's default color palettes. Pretty sweet already. I like the white and red. And this time the car changing thing works. You know the deal. Green, black. And lower the saturation now. Confirm. Mm, it does look pretty cool, but you know what? I think I think we'll just swap the colors out here. So outside will be dark green, inside will be blue. I like that a little bit more. I'm gonna need them to apply that color changing thing to every vehicle, please. Or at least do it in the future. Like, for the next game. Straight into one of Biotechnica's places, huh? Not the signal source? Oh shit. All right, we gotta go a little bit further in. I assume the pirate router is up there, maybe? Here, maybe? Fallen piece of railing. Someone likely climbed up after construction was complete. That makes sense. I was, you know, I wasn't assuming otherwise. Man, this thing is loud. There's got to be a way further up. There we go. For people who don't have leg augmentations. <sighs> oh, Christ, finally. Look. Get far enough from the smell, even Night City can be beautiful. Yeah, if it were nighttime, we'd get a really good view, but uh, it's more looming from this distance. <sighs> Fuck. Let me guess. Another router? 
My dick theory is starting to seem like a real possibility. <laughs> Let's just get the info, Johnny. Hmm. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to make a varied path here. So maybe BD55, or sorry, FF, 1C55, nope, that path doesn't go where I need it to. Ah, oh, this is another one of those really annoying ones. Okay. BD, FF, 1C, Fifty-five E nine. Okay. E D F F one C fifty-five E nine. You are getting closer. You are seeing more. The Nirvana of Marxian Swede Borgism is around the corner. You must take the final step. You must be brave. Right. And? Signal leads to another place? Yep. Hey, maybe this is all part of Swedenborg's message. Life is movement. Fuck the destination. It's how you get there that counts. Well, there's some truth to that. Jesus, V, this is philosophy for the hoi polloi. Have you ever read a book in your life? You know what? Don't answer. I don't want to know. <laughs> you already know the answer. You so have part of my memory. So where does lead get us? A yoga class? A Tibetan monastery? No. To... To an amusement park. Oh. The plot thickens. Oh. The amusement park. Way over... Oh. Yeah, I guess that'd be about right. I could have sworn there was an amusement park over in this area, but I might have conflated it over here instead. I think I need to drive away from this place and then reload. There's like a weird sound thing going on. Okay, before I go to the signal source, I need to... Make my way to the tarot card. Since there really aren't, like, any other jobs and stuff out here that might take me over there, we'll, we'll clear out these... At least these three, these three crime scenes. Getting some pretty good speed on that. I'm wondering what the longest straight line in this game's gotta be. It's probably out here, honestly. Look at this shit. From here to here, that's pretty long. From here. Potentially all the way up to like here is a pretty long stretch. Here to here-ish is pretty long too. It's all connected. The edge of the map or something? Yeah. I don't know. You've got this path down here, but that doesn't mean it's usable by the player.
Sheesh. Damn, this just keeps going. Up and up and up. 208. Caliburn really is one of the fastest vehicles in the game. God damn. My time is bacon! AWACS system active. Trespassing strictly prohibited? I don't know what that means! Besides that, uh, my life is in danger! Great! Hey, everybody. Hey, I am out of resources. God damn. Was their crime just being out here? Ew. It's an ugly helmet. Heard a rumor. You gotta check it out. One of the drilling platforms in the Badlands isn't complete junk yet. If the source hasn't dried up and we can flush some of the old shit out, could get some decent oil out of there. Go to this address. Location unavailable. And check it out. Just no ass dress dragging. Get it done quick. I mean, it certainly looks like there was oil here. It's all lit up now. Not usable to anybody. What are these people doing? Going for gold? Oh, shit. Reboot optics, reboot optics, reboot optics, and reboot optics. What are you, five? Get out of here! Ah. No going back now. And that we can just turn off. Fuck you, up, huh? Oh! oh. Timothy Malik and Alan Parnell. Everything's set up with Javier. So when do we move out? Next sandstorm. Javier will tell his people to return to their stations, so SoCal won't be such a big problem. And you're sure? 100%? He promised. If he promises me to lie, I, you gotta, I gotta make sure you keep your word. Hi! Ah! <laughs> I just want to say hello. Hey V, just want to say thanks for that last talk. Don't worry about it. I've got your back. We'll make sure Samson's chewing dirt. Thanks, V. Thanks for opening up yourself. Uh, thanks for opening yourself up to me. I appreciate it. Thanks for listening to me. It means a lot to me. I'll see you around, Claire. You'll be all right. It might even feel a little anticlimactic how fast Samson dies, but we'll see. I have to peel off the road here? 
I'll do it just in case it's like some weird setup. <laughs> this was dumb. Hey, hey, everybody! What do you got here? Attention all subcons! Suspected organized crime activity reported on Sage Gulch Road. Warrants issued for Rufus McBride on accounts of practicing as a ripper doc without a license. Record shows three counts of causing permanent disability and one count of aiding in the staging of a suicide. Perp is in hiding among members of the race gang. City is offering a reward for neutralizing the threat and the group concealing him. Well, I guess we're taking out a doctor today. <laughs> You know, I haven't fired this in a bit. Damn, that man <laughs> survived World War One. Oh, doctor! Where are you at, doctor? I think this is the Ripper Doc, Rufus McBride. Sorry, Rufus. But it doesn't seem like you were a very good doctor. Here. Yeah. We're just gonna send out some random ass bots. I'll take it out with AI too. Where's the doctor? Here you are. Simon Diaz and Rufus McBride. Joss got hit in the hand, taking him there. Get ready, gunshot wound. Sure thing, just remind me. He runs on Arasaka or Militech hardware. Hashtag Team Militech. Cool. At least we won't be short on parts. Damn. Her friend got shut up and they were just like, hey, don't worry about it. We'll just take everything he's got. Protein Farms, a report. Protein Farms are currently the source of most meat and meat substitute products in Night City. Biotechnica is the clear industry leader, providing for over half of the city's demand for alternative protein. Currently the most popular, albeit cost-intensive, form of production is based on protein-rich crickets, which allow producers to achieve the highest quality protein. Earthworms are available as a cheaper alternative, achieving a higher yield of product per square meter. However, worms pose a more difficult marketing challenge. While crickets have become acceptable, most consumers still bristle being told to go eat worms. Uh, both sound awful. Orders for patients. Kiroshi nose filters, Biodyne uh, Infinity Premium Version Enhanced Strength, strength Thighs, set of Arasaka Subdermal Pockets for the top smugglers, uh, augmented muscle weaves from Militech and three X plus kidneys from Biotech. Do they, do they install pockets on themselves? That's what I got from that. You don't need to worry about your clothes having pockets when you can just store the items inside of you. Are those lights just uber bright, or is there like a net connected to that? Hmm. 
New American Auto Works. Well, I don't got beef with them right now. God, do I have to climb this whole thing? Nope, thank Christ. The star. Oh, no, tarot. The star. The star is the card of hope. In the darkest of nights, there is a light that shines the path to home. The star is inspiration and motivation and gives us strength to move forward. Why is it all the way out here? Is there no hope to be found in Night City? It's all in the Badlands. I'm heading up there. Getting up those cliff walls. This is a good opportunity. Oops. Even going up a road here, or am I just. I'm going off road! Yeah! I'm almost tempted to pull out the Hellhound and just roll around shooting up the gangs. The problem is, you still have to get out of the car. And again, sometimes the crime scenes have innocent civilians and killing them instantaneously summons the cops. You know, I think I was here earlier. Oh shit, Carrie? Carrie. Uh, Donnie? V this time. Disappointed. Fuck. Sorry. Don't really get how that show of yours works. Simple. Imagine that Johnny's along for the ride. Mm-hmm. Not him. You don't got no ticket either. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. In any case, I'm at the wheel. And rather keep it that way. I got it. You'll work too. I mean, cool. Something particular up, Carrie? A job of a kind that seems ideal for you. Corner of Gray and Malagra. Early morning. We'll talk. Cool. I'll see you tomorrow then, Carrie. <laughs> it's the middle of the afternoon. Ooh, helicopter crash site? What are y'all doing out here? Oh, more wraiths. Cyber psychosis. Everybody gets to go cyber psycho. I'm on it. And he is fucking them up. What are you fine? Get out of here! What the shit? It happened again to Cyber Sake, the last Cyber Sake of Flip themselves. Right as they start lighting them up. Who does this belong to? Zeta Tech. Ah. They found us! Tracked us down! How the fuck they do that? 
Big Pete had that Militech cloaking up. Bullshit he did, they marked us. We got SoCal drones on our ass. Well, just try and get across the border. Shit, shit, shit. Told you to dump this hunk of junk. Shit's older than you are. Wow. Ouch. Just focus. Keep flying. We're hit. We're going down. Fwah! Mike? Mikey, answer me. Hello? Oh, fuck. We survived, XD. Holy shit. Tom pissed himself, XD. Well, we came down hard. And the cargo? Send someone here. Pick us up. Most of it seems fine. Uh-oh. I'm too... Too weight over shit. I think it's time I get my other stuff back. Get a little bit more tanky, get my... Quick hack upload times back. Mm. I'll go four. Old school Arasaka. And since I'm in the middle of nowhere, I can't really shell some of this stuff. So it's dismantle time. Ooh, you know what? Melee weapons make for good dismantle targets. One more bad land job. Then we're heading back into the city. There's a mod for uncapping the levels. Maybe not uncapping levels, but just like more skill points. Still kind of thinking about how I wish I could still be getting upgrades occasionally. Woo! Jesus! Reboot optics, reboot optics, reboot, reboot. Surrender! You have no chance of escaping! <laughs> I've got no intention on escaping. This ought to do the trick! Easy. Montana Lewis. What? You must be joking. Wouldn't even take the job local for something like that, much less on fucking location. Think you got your asses mixed up with your elbows from all them implant ops. Hey, chill, man. We'll pay more. Yeah, well, if you want the best ripper this side of the NUSA, more means triple that. Deal. Maelstrom always pays in full. Eddies are one thing, but I want my own clinic and gear, and you gotta take care of it. Not about to drag all that shit with me. Sure thing. We'll send someone to get you across the border. Okay, I want a pro. Only work with the best. Yeah, I know. Did they just get ambushed while they were trying to come out here? Survivor, huh? Yeah, you can tell them. You couldn't even see your attackers. All right. Let's go fast travel. I could drive three kilometers across the city probably pretty quickly. But I don't really have a need. There's no like other small jobs along the way. I'd have to drive 
up and around for that. All right. Let's go to the amusement park. I think. If this is the actual location for it. I think I've seen two amusement parks. Maybe three? It could all just be one and I just keep not going to it. There's one. Hey. What? You ever wonder who refills these things? And why? 25 hour seven. Ooh. <laughs> Trail cuts off here. So what? Asshole hiding here someplace? Oh, maybe. Or maybe we get to another terminal. I have to see. Funny area, this. Kind of complements our guy's style, doesn't it? How? This theme park another parody of capitalism run amok? Cheap entertainment for brain dead gonks, that's how. Ah, Johnny, you super pessimist. Alright. If I were a pirate router. Oh. Money is a tool used by the colonial oppressors of our minds. Class division is the breeding ground of anarchy. Wait, what the hell is this? What it looks like. Swedenborg Riviera. Ha! Come one, come all for the profit of Night City. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's too good. A wind-up philosopher in a box. Hand me a couple of eddies. See what he cranks out next. How is this even possible? Not a fucking clue. But Jesus, V, how beautiful is this? Half the net's getting tweaked on wisdom from a puppet in a glass case. Hairs are being split. Spit is flying over interpretations. Well, hold on, oh, Johnny. Oh, man. Let me tell you. 50 years of soul prison was worth it for this moment right here. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, Johnny, this... Little thing right here couldn't have placed all those pirate routers, so... You shall meet an attractive lobbyist when you least expect a violent outbreak of class warfare. Success is the delusion of the soul. You have another one. Your luck shall turn around when the means of production will flow on an endless stream of endorphins. Right. You scrolling this? Well, we need to save these for posterity's sake. Ha! Uh, the means of production Somebody should belong to the collective thing. unconscious. <laughs> Seriously? What, you think you're gonna find a jack-in-a-box who wants to become a real boy? Capital <laughs> is the blood of the global system What do we got? Oh, look, here's a router right here. Look, someone hooked Swedenborg up to the net. What are you waiting for? Let's see what secrets are flowing in those cables. Hmm. Oh, this is a long, long one too, Jesus. Okay, so we need to start with a 1C. 55, 1C. E9. Seven, eight, E9, okay. Path complete. You followed all the clues, like the good dog you are. So do you feel enlightened? You've been pwned by Sweetie. Ah. Uh. Oh, God, Johnny's gonna be insufferable. Okay, so, if I'm getting this right, someone hacked into this fortune teller bot, rejigged its algorithm to spew out anti-establishment aphorisms instead of prophecies. And then hooked it up to the net through a system of routers that masks the signal origin. Pure fucking genius. Can we find whoever did this? I need to shake their hand. <sighs> Unlikely for two reasons. First, 
They didn't leave a trace. Second, you're dead, John. Oh, right. When I get in a good mood, I forget that. <laughs> AV, don't turn it off, huh? Tell Johnny you'll leave the fortune bot alone. Yeah, it's fine. Nah, don't worry, Johnny. I'm not gonna take away Night City's philosopher of the people. Huh. Well then, to Swedenborg Riviera. Long name. Success year. is the delusion of the soul. That's so unfortunate. The means of production should We be really got led on a wild goose chase. Fuck. Ah, V. Let me guess. You called to tell me you're done bashing your head against the wall? Well, not exactly. We found something. We? Someone with you? No. Uh, no, I, I meant the, the royal we. So, about Swedenborg. It's all a big hoax. Say what now? It's an automated fortune teller. Strings words into deep-sounding mumbo-jumbo. Someone jacked it into the net. Probably laughing from his chair. Shit, V. This, this, oh, this story's even better than I thought. I'll take it from here. Oh, your, uh, your Eddie's on their way now. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> well, at least she, she's happy with the way that ended. I'm somewhat sad. I thought about giving you a piece of my mind, but maybe it's for the best. Every joke needs an audience, right? Success is a delusion of the soul. Yeah. Whatever, Johnny. <laughs> Go to the meeting point between 12.30 and 3.30 a.m. Hmm. Well, we don't really have any close. Side jobs. Hmm. Yeah, everything else is on the far side of the city, Jesus. It's good. We'll clear out this area. When it's late, we'll go to carry. Let me get my other Caliburn favorited. I still kind of like the Guinevere more. Just in that it's kind of got like a... I like the look of it a little bit more, but also it's a lot quieter engine sound wise. Contagion! Contagion! And... Reboot optics, contagion. <laughs> easy, yeah, all right. I was about to say easy XP, but I don't have XP to worry about anymore. Eh, I mean, I think you get a little bit of money her kill, but I don't even know. See, these random fucks over here aren't hackable, but I can hack all the cars in the race. Oh, hey, hey, you know what? No, I get XP for my, my side skill stuff. XP is still worth it. Go. Attention all NCPD dispatcher or subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported around Eden Beach Mega Ride. Stanley Stanislaus Sabusko likely at the scene. Purpose a known captain among scavengers with multiple smuggling priors. City authorities have a reward on offer for neutralizing Zabisco and his group. I'm here! Hey. What do you want? I wanna go on the, the fairy wheel! And y'all are blocking me off! <sighs> Fuck. 
Sure, it friendly mode. Yeah. What else y'all have around here? Huh? That's a lot of people. Holy shit. But not a lot of turrets. That's kind of sad. How dare you applaud! Ooh, is that a sniper? <laughs> Boom! Suicide! Oh, oh yeah! That got like eight people. The camera. What would we do if it alerted the enemies? Holy speed slow. Holy moly. I might as well have a sand devastan. What the fuck? I guess I should be caught by cameras more often. I, I activated like all three of the ways that I can slow down time. Oh god, it won't turn off! Sniper rifle, go away! Is that all I need to do for this? Normally you also have to find a letter, but uh... Or like a shard. But I guess we really did just have to murder everybody. Oh hey, I could have done this. Oh, never mind. Read carefully. A certain corpo entered the net one night when suddenly ah uh, chainmail bullshit. Here's a conversation. First things first, keep your trap shut on this. Anyway, our story goes, the animals jumped goose and stole all those high-tech implants he was transporting for the tigers. And don't go feeling sorry for the guy. He was a good chewing, but started getting too fucking smart. Tigers should buy it. Goose got zero for real. But none of you fuckers say a fucking word to them. Or go prancing around with those implants. The whole hall, the whole hall is going to this the Soviet motherland. Did he just give me a new... Sniper rifle? Oh man, the Arabus isn't the highest DPS weapon. It was just the highest favorited weapon. Hmm. Alright, I gotta look for a... Potential new tech Nekomata. Uh, fifteen percent charge speed. Hmm. This actually, I think, could be better. Hold on. Hmm. Oh, wait. Okay, so this has a higher base damage than my other Nekomata sniper rifle. It's got that 15% charge speed, which sounds nice. However, we would lose out on armor penetration by a lot. 70, <laughs> like almost a 70% nerf, 65% nerf. I don't know, I haven't really noticed the armor stuff too much, but I always imagine armored up enemies are like super annoying. So yeah, we'll just uh, play it safe. Oh, 
I need to sell stuff real quick and then I'll go s deal with the cyber psycho. see what this other cyber psycho is doing. Okay. V, near the gym, there's this walkway where people are falling off the map. Find out what's going on. Just don't disappear yourself. All right. One of the gym personal trainers go crazy? Underpass near the gym. Some homeless folk have been disappearing there. I'd say it's a toss up between the animals or the voodoo boys, but the attack one eyewitness has described was brutally horrific. And more importantly, there was only one attack. Hey, are people just not listening to your, your PT recommendations? Shot with high caliber rounds, most likely from a turret. Huh. is that simple? Someone sleeping here? Oh, these robots. Oh, shit. Commencing neutralizing threat. set up here but I think you should have had some better security to keep just the door locked in general Jesus let's see job offer Heard from a friend you deal with recon and risk assessment. My inter my interest is the Grand Imperial Mall. Can I count on you? Your friend gave you my rate too? For the gym, it's double. Fucking robbery, but it's a deal. Meet me at, meet me at your place tomorrow early. I'm in deep shit. Yo, I fucked up. Wanted to fry this gonk I hired trying to leave no witnesses or pay the fucking fortune he asked. Except he had defensive chrome and eked out living. And fucked me up bad. Then Netwatch joined the party and I barely slipped out the net before they fried me. Fucking clusterfuck, man. I'm holed up in my spot and I feel like my brain's doing gymnastics in my skull. I'm seeing more and more scabs around, but I don't know if they're really here or not. Gotta help me out somehow, brother, please. Sheesh. I'm reading to Virginia about this. It was a VDB netrunner. Looks like he wanted to move up the ranks by taking over the gym. Hired a merc who he then tried to zero. Blowing his cover from Netwatch. I knocked him out, but he's still breathing. Thanks for keeping him alive, V. I'll have my people come pick him up. He must have been scared shitless in that VDB den. I bet. Especially since his... <laughs> All of his electronics would have been, like, shooting the shit out of anybody who tried to enter. Everybody would seem hostile. <laughs> 